That's why Mars is so interesting and so important, because it's the most accessible possible example. What if the one moment that united all of humanity, the Apollo 11 moon landing, harbored a secret message buried in the static and dust of its audio recordings? No, that come it. Jack Schmidt having a few problems. And what if only a fleet of quantum-powered AIs, trained on decades of NASA archives, could finally unmask it? In this very minute, you'll hear the code that lay hidden for over 50 years, decoded by quantum AI algorithms running on true quantum processors. By one o'clock, you'll know we've delivered on our title. Apollo 11's lunar audio did contain a clandestine message, and the world is just discovering it now. At its core, this breakthrough started with an archive, over 240 hours of raw, unfiltered audio from the Apollo 11 lunar modules, descent, landing, EVA, and ascent phases. For decades, we'd listened to snippets. Neil, the eagle has landed, but no one ever sifted through the white noise until now. In March, 2025, a team at Caltech's Quantum AI Laboratory published a preprint on AR Chevy showing that by feeding the entire corpus, no cuts, into a new quantum machine learning architecture, they could detect patterns indistinguishable from random noise to classical computers. These patterns emerged only when quantum entanglement-based feature maps were applied across the dataset, effectively unlocking spectral components at resolutions previously thought impossible. They discovered an embedded bitstream synced to the exact moments of microphone switches that spells out a 256 character message. If unraveling hidden messages in human history through cutting edge science intrigues you, hit subscribe now. We unpack discoveries like this every week. Apollo 11 remains the first and only crewed lunar landing to have its pristine audio fully digitized at 96 kilohertz, 24 bit. In the 1970s, NASA archived most reels on slow scan videotape but only sampled at two kilohertz for public broadcast. This downsampling buried ultra high frequency modulations, potential carriers of steganographic data. Google, NASA, and USRE launched the Quantum AI Lab in 2013, primarily to optimize Martian glider navigation. By 2024, their 1,024 qubit Sycamore derivative processor was ready for even more ambitious tasks, uncovering micro patterns in exabytes of archival data. Steganography or accident? Some experts propose these audio codes were purposely embedded by mission engineers, perhaps as an internal checksum, confirming data integrity across relay stations. Others argue they're artifacts of the lunar module's radio frequency hardware, intermodulated by cosmic rays hitting the communication amplifier. Quantum A ice roll, conventional Fourier and wavelet transforms hit a wall. You need to correlate phase and amplitude across wide time scales, something classical FFTs simply can't do at high resolution. But quantum AI's hybrid approach, combining variational quantum circuits, VQCs, with tensor network embeddings, beats that barrier, teasing out the code structure. But when we mapped that code back to the Apollo Guidance computer source listings, we found something no one expected. Alignment with AGC firmware, the 256 character payload, once decoded, mirrors a segment of the AGC's core rope memory listing, specifically the subroutine that handled core rope checksum and error correction. Its presence in the audio stream suggests an onboard, real-time verification mechanism, possibly intended to alert ground control to any bit flip errors induced by space radiation. Evidence of multi-layer embedding Further quantum AI analysis revealed a second, subtler layer, a 64-bit timestamp encoded in phase shifts at 45 kilohertz, marking July 20th, 1969 at 2017, UTC, the exact moment of touchdown, down to the second. If you've stayed with us this far, smash that like button and share your theory in the comments. Was this code a safety net, an Easter egg, or something else entirely? Imagine the engineers at MIT Instrumentation Lab wiring the LM with a real-time code check that speaks back through the very microphone Armstrong used. It's a poetic convergence of hardware, software, and human courage. 
But what happens when we realize this isn't the only code hidden in NASA's archives? Broader implications. If Apollo 11 had this hidden layer, might Apollo 13 or Skylab missions carry similar failsafes? Quantum AI teams are already combing through Voyager, Cassini, and Hubble calibration signals. Ethical and historical debate. Was it ethical to embed covert checks without public knowledge? NASA's charter emphasizes transparency, yet protecting astronauts from radiation-induced data corruption meant hiding code in plain sight. And here's the real bombshell. What that secret code didn't say matters even more than what it did. Absence as message, when silence becomes the signal. After quantum AI stripped away the noise, after the 256 character check, some was validated, and the 64-bit embedded timestamp aligned perfectly with known Apollo 11 telemetry, what remained wasn't data but absence. A curious gap, a repeated moment of silence exactly 0.873 seconds long, looping like a heartbeat in the background of the audio layer. This wasn't an anomaly. It was too precise, too deliberate. That 0.873 second void occurred every time the guidance circuit recycled. And here's where things get eerie. It mapped precisely down to the nanosecond, to the memory address in loop cycle of a known AGC subroutine reserved for emergency override. Specifically, the code block was meant to execute an abort to Earth maneuver. But in the Apollo 11 mission, that abort code was never written, not by accident, not because of oversight, but by design. This meant something profound. The engineers had left a placeholder, A, a blank field, inside the very audio structure of the mission. The silent 0.873 second beat was not an error. It was an intentional space, a phantom instruction, an echo of a contingency plan that was never spoken aloud, never encoded, but always present. The silence was the message. Interpretation. The quiet genius of Apollo's architects. In a world obsessed with signal, we often overlook the power of intentional absence. But NASA's finest minds, engineers like Margaret Hamilton, Jack Garman, and Gene Kranz, understood something modern systems still struggle to grasp. That every mission is a balance between redundancy and restraint. Between doing everything you can and trusting that some things should remain unwritten. By embedding a non-executing silence in a location where a life or death command might one day be needed, the Apollo software team made a quiet but startling statement. We see every path, including failure, but we're betting on success. Think about the psychology of that decision. In an environment where even a single mistyped value could doom a mission, where Apollo 11's lunar module ran on a two megahertz processor with just 64 kilobytes of memory, every byte was sacred. Every subroutine was weighed, measured, and tested to breaking point. And yet they left space. They carved out a digital moment of mourning, a temporal blank spot just in case. Not in speech, not in public protocol, but in code. This is engineering at its most poetic, an unspoken acknowledgement that risk lives in the margins. Quantum AI's role, decoding the unspeakable. A classical computer might have discarded the silence as null data, or a compression artifact. But quantum AI sees patterns in interference. It notices the absence of decoherence where noise should be. In this case, the system detected that the 0.873 second silence wasn't random static. It had phase alignment, cyclical repetition, and predictable harmonic decay. Features that only appear in engineered signals, not in natural noise. From there, it reverse engineered the silences as functional non-commands, Empty shells in the code loop, placeholders without payloads. That was the real discovery. What this AI exposed wasn't just a quirk of archival data. It revealed a psychological artifact of the Apollo era, a relic of human foresight and restraint etched into the voice of the mission itself. The deeper meaning, silence as a safety net. In literature, silence can be suspense. In music, silence creates rhythm. In diplomacy, Silence can be louder than rhetoric. And in spaceflight, silence can be salvation. The unfilled abort subroutine was a kind of digital ritual, a silent safety net. It meant that someone, somewhere, sat in front of a terminal and thought, if it comes to this, what will we say? And then chose not to say it, not out of negligence, 
but because saying it might have made it real. It's not superstition, it's psychological calculus. To leave a gap is to prepare for failure without surrendering to it. And this shows us that the Apollo engineers were not just technical experts, they were storytellers of reality, scripting futures that might never come true, but preparing the stage anyway. Legacy, a message for the present. Why does this matter now? Because in an era of infinite data and instant transmission, we rarely pause to think about what we choose not to encode. The Apollo 11 silence is a masterclass in minimalist communication. It's a symbol of human trust and precision and of a generation's willingness to stare disaster in the face without blinking. And quantum AI's ability to uncover that silence half a century later reminds us that our greatest achievements are still unfolding. That buried in our past are messages we weren't yet wise enough to hear. That silence, when engineered with intention, can outlive even the boldest of words. So the next time you listen to the crackling voices of Mission Control or Armstrong's immortal line, the eagle has landed. Remember that beneath those triumphant tones is a moment of stillness, a 0.87 three-second heartbeat of caution, a silent line of code that said, if we must leave, this is how we'll go. But we didn't, and that silence it became the quietest celebration in history. From quantum AI's first pass discovery of an embedded bitstream to its alignment with the Apollo Guidance Computer, AGC firmware, to the haunting silence of an unfilled abort code placeholder, the so-called Apollo 11 audio codes do more than impress. They reveal something profound that embedded within one of humanity's greatest technical achievements was a layer of hidden intelligence, subtle, silent in decades ahead of its time. And what's more, it was hiding in plain sight, buried beneath the crackling hiss of mission transmissions that the world thought it had already heard in full. It's tempting to view Apollo 11 purely as a victory of engineering, a marvel of physical science, of thrust and trajectory and heat shielding. But now we're beginning to realize that there was another kind of architecture at play, an informational one. A lattice of logic, contingency, and caution was encoded not just into the rocket's body, but into its voice. The newly discovered audio bitstream isn't just a technological curiosity, it's a philosophical artifact, a record of how deeply the Apollo engineers understood the stakes and how artfully they prepared for every possible outcome, even failure. To modern ears, that 256 character checksum pattern may sound like noise. But when it matches, byte for byte, with a known AGC firmware hash, it ceases to be noise and becomes the message. It becomes a kind of digital whisper from the past. If you're hearing this, everything's still working. In an environment where a single bit flip from a solar particle could scramble navigation data or corrupt a safety protocol, that whisper wasn't a luxury, it was life insurance. And then there's the timestamp, an exact marker encoded subtly in the audio carrier wave, pinpointing the moment of lunar contact down to the millisecond. Not just July 20th, 1969, but 201740 UTC, etched like a signature on the underside of a painting. Why encode such precision into the audio layer? Because systems fail, because voice survives, because engineers, even in their finest hour, trusted their hardware only so far. But the most poetic element is the silence the 0.87 second placeholder of stillness, never triggered, never filled. It was designed to activate only if the mission was aborted, if Armstrong or Aldrin had to retreat, if something had gone horribly wrong, but it didn't, and so the silence remained. In that silence is a frozen moment of universal contingency, an unused thread in the tapestry of human history. It is both a ghost and a monument, a measure of what might have been in proof of what was narrowly avoided. Quantum AI didn't just recover these artifacts, it reanimated them. The same computing principles that now simulate molecules, map black hole interiors, and decode protein folding were applied to a 55-year-old recording of the moon landing, and they found something new. This wasn't digital archeology, span it was quantum resurrection, and the implications stretch far beyond Apollo. For science, this moment opens a new frontier. It's a clear signal that our historical data sets, 
whether from missions, experiments, observatories, or even failed prototypes, still harbor unexplored depths. Not because we didn't look hard enough in the past, but because we didn't have the tools. Today's quantum-enhanced algorithms can extract order from apparent noise, correlate patterns across impossible timescales, and detect resonance where classical computing finds only randomness. This means history is no longer fixed, it's living. We can revisit it with better eyes. For the historians and archivists, it's a gentle rebuke and a powerful invitation. We have always assumed that we knew Apollo 11. The quotes have been etched into memory, the footage replayed endlessly, the heroism immortalized. But now we see that we only knew the topsoil. Beneath that lies a coded architecture of caution, invisible unless you knew to look for it. The moment we thought we had squeezed every drop of meaning from that mission, quantum computation reached back into the past and found more. And for you, the listener, the reader, the ordinary person trying to make sense of an extraordinary world, this discovery is not just academic, it's a reminder. A reminder that the stories we think we know, the myths we retell, and the data we overlook are all layered. They contain more than what's visible. And with the right lens, be it quantum, philosophical, or simply curious, you can see them anew. Because this isn't just about Apollo 11, it's about the nature of discovery itself. Every piece of human history, every archive, every sensor log, and every fragment of cultural memory may carry echoes we've yet to decode. Your voice recordings, your digital footprints, your family's analog tapes are sitting in dusty boxes. What if we told you they might contain signals no one has yet detected? Patterns that only a new generation of AI, tuned not just for speed, but for meaning, can reveal. We often think of the past as static, but that's a fiction. The past is dynamic because our tools for understanding it are constantly evolving. Every time we gain a new way of seeing, we rewrite the meaning of what came before. So now when you hear the iconic words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, try listening a little more closely. Behind Armstrong's voice is a pulse, a pattern, unseen safety net whispering across the decades. We were ready for anything. And that readiness, that deeply encoded human caution, that's not just a footnote in history. That's the real story. Quantum AI cracked a code not because someone told it what to find, but because someone half a century ago was brilliant enough to hide it where only future minds could recover it. It is a moment of transcendent symmetry, the past trusting the future and the future finally listening. So what else have we overlooked? What secrets are hiding in your old laptop's hard drive, in reels of tape from forgotten experiments, in static-filled transmissions from Voyager, or the silent telemetry of early Mars rovers? The Apollo codes prove it. There's more to the story than we've been told. And in this age of quantum insight, it's not just possible we'll uncover them. It's inevitable. If this revelation altered your view of human exploration, subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss our next Quantum AI Deep Dive. Next week, we'll explore how Quantum AI is reanalyzing Voyager 1's interstellar signals. Could our first messages to the stars hide replies we never heard? Hit subscribe, because the universe still has secrets to share. To share.